Khan, welcome to Canada. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. So tell us about uh, launching a million acts of innovation in Australia. We're really excited about oh. it. And so tell us what that looks like. Uh, I know you haven't launched yet fully. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you see that that could make available to us right now for the rest of the world? Well, I'm still learning on um, on all the great things that you've achieved in Canada as well, and I want to understand, you know, how do we uh, learn from that um, to launch in Australia? Australia and Canada are like uh, cousins, if you like, if not brothers. Um, and there's a lot of similarities in culture, political climate, economic climate. And uh, so, you know, the successes that have been achieved in Canada can be replicated in Australia. And Australia um, is, is in great need of uh, this kind of initiative. Um, we are rated at the, in 18 out of the top uh, 144 countries, according to the World Economic Forum, for innovation, and that's not acceptable. So, you know, we want to try and strive to, to beat Canada <laughs> in the next five years and maybe get top five in the next five. Um, you know, look, Australia is a phenomenal country, it's a phenomenal culture, it's a phenomenal climate, and there's a lot of um, encouraging movements around innovation and startups. But I think what's required is a mindset. And, you know, to further the work that you've done as well is how do we help uh, the society and the economy and the government in Australia understand the f what is the right mind to drive innovation? So, you know, I'm still incubating. And in your past experiences, you've been very successful at building companies, selling companies, and all of that must have come with some failures. Mm. Can you share some, some of your learnings you've had from your failures? What would you offer to other people who are causing a million acts of innovation? Uh, I would say uh, listen to your customers, listen to the market. Um, and be prepared to be agile. You know, some of the mistakes we made was being too uh, committed to our ideas versus mm -hmm. what the market's telling us. And so, not being afraid to, you know, um, iterate or pivot um, and fail fast is definitely an asset. It took us a couple of years to get to that point of view. Um, and but look, you know, that we built on that sh on the shoulders of that. So. You know, understanding and have an external uh, customer council is very important. It's almost like your R&D team and you've got an inner sanctum of customers telling you what, uh, is, is, uh, what they want and what they need. And it also puts you in a good stead with them at, to be early adopters of what you're trying to achieve in your business. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you.